When I was a kid, my family drove out west to Yellowstone and Grand Teton National Parks, and I always wanted to go back. This is the story of the 3,100 mile motorcycle camping adventure that took place over 20 years later. On my quest for adventure and source material for a new painting collection, we encountered wildlife, harsh conditions on the open road, and nights by the fire under the stars. My first painting is now underway from our Delta Lake hike, but let's start from the beginning when we left home on the motorcycle in the pouring rain. I quickly recorded the rain in the backyard just as we were leaving. I knew that I wouldn't be able to film the harsh weather on our journey, but it seems that every time we got to our destination and set up camp or went sightseeing, this is the kind of weather that we were rewarded with. Due to limited space, we couldn't bring a lot of luxuries on our trip, but we did have coffee every morning and it was amazing. Many of our traveling days looked like this, but I'm going to skip ahead to the good parts to make this video more interesting. In South Dakota, we took Iron Mountain Road from our campground to visit Mount Rushmore. This is the road that has the tunnels carved in it that perfectly frame Mount Rushmore in the distance like a picture. This was a really fun road to ride on a motorcycle because of all the twists and turns. We went super early in the morning so there wasn't hardly any traffic and it was very beautiful. We saw a buffalo also walking alongside the road. Here you can see Mount Rushmore as you get to the end of the tunnel right there. After our visit to Mount Rushmore, we took a ride up Needles Highway. This was an incredible view, however, there was tons of traffic because we went in the middle of the day. I imagine if you went first thing in the morning like we did the Iron Mountain Road, you would be met with an incredible motorcycle ride. After South Dakota, we headed towards Wyoming and the national parks. Our ride across Wyoming was 107 degrees, which we decided was way worse than riding in the rain. And then when we arrived Yellowstone, there were 50 mile an hour wind gusts, so 
It wasn't easy getting there, but once we did, we hit all of the high tourist spots and made sure that we crossed everything off of our list. Of course we encountered many buffalo traffic jams in Yellowstone, which I will say that I now understand why I didn't see a lot of motorcyclists going through the parks. It's a little scary. We stayed in Yellowstone for two nights, and on a very cold morning we packed everything back into our motorcycle and headed out to Grand Teton National Park. Grand Teton National Park welcomed us with beautiful weather and amazing views. We wasted no time in Grand Teton National Park, and we thought since we arrived on such a beautiful day, we would get the highlight of our trip started, our hike to Delta Lake. Walking up a mountain reminded me of Elf's journey from the North Pole to New York City. You walk through so many amazing environments. We even saw a bear on the other side of a valley. We walk through the forest, alpine meadows, and over boulder fields to ultimately arrive at Delta Lake. And then we walked back down the mountain, dead tired and thirsty. Before the trip, I researched a lot of spots to stop and take photos that I thought would make great paintings. This is one of them in Grand Teton National Park, and we were very surprised to find some moose down there. We reserved campsites six months in advance at the coveted Jenny Lake Campground. We enjoyed the beauty and swimming in the freezing cold water.
It was time to pack up camp for the last time and start our journey home where so much more bad weather was awaiting us. I'm always so sad to finish a trip, but I know that when I get home, I'm going to start creating paintings from my experiences and I'll get to revisit all of the picture and videos again as I create the paintings. <laughs> 